May the 9th, 1911. Edinburgh's Palace Empire Theatre is up in flames. An audience of 3,000 have been evacuated, left confused and in shock. The finale of the Great Lafayette's magic show has ended in disaster. But this was just the beginning of his greatest trick. The Great Lafayette is a magician I have been fascinated with ever since I started magic. This guy was a really interesting character, and at the time he was performing, he was the highest paid magician ever. He earned about four million pounds every year, and his most famous act was something called The Lion's Bride. And it was like a miniature play. It had a plot, it had characters. Essentially, a princess has to choose between marrying this evil king or facing a lion in a cage. And there was a real lion involved that would be growling and pouncing, jumping around inside this big cage. It was a big production, no expense spared. And the princess chooses the lion, obviously, and as she is about to go into the cage, the skin of the lion drops down and the Great Lafayette is inside. It was a trick that was talked about for a generation, one of the best performances that people had ever seen. The Great Lafayette was a character, played by Sigmund Newberger. Sigmund had a dog called Beauty, which had actually been bought for him by Harry Houdini, and a horse called Arizona. So he was all set for a run of shows in Edinburgh, Scotland, when his beloved dog Beauty tragically died and Sigmund was devastated by this loss. Wanting the best for the dog, he arranged for her to be buried in a cemetery, but the cemetery wouldn't allow it. They said that you can't bury a dog unless it's being buried with its master. And so Sigmund, wanting to do the best for beauty and give it a meaningful send-off, decided to organise his future grave in the hopes that in many years, one day, he would be buried there alongside beauty. Still in shock from the loss of his dog, Sigmund continued the run of shows in Edinburgh's Palace Empire Theatre, performing as the Great Lafayette. But just five days after the death of Beauty, disaster struck during the show's finale. An electrical spark set the scenery alight, and within moments the stage was erupted into fire. The curtain was lowered in an attempt to suffocate the fire, but it jammed, trapping the people on stage. While the audience were apparently unharmed, ten of Lafayette's cast, the lion and the horse, were all killed in the fire, as well as Lafayette himself. The body was discovered in the charred remains of the theatre, he was cremated and was about to be laid to rest alongside the dog, who had only just been buried five days earlier. But as the old wreckage of the Edinburgh theatre was being dismantled, they discovered beneath the stage the body of the man they had just cremated. So if this was Sigmund Newberger, then who was the other person? The first body that was discovered was actually that of Charles Richards, the band leader who also played a part in the Lion's Bride act as a double to the Lafayette. Meanwhile, the real Lafayette was waiting patiently beneath the stage and was never to be seen alive again. What makes this story so tragic and interesting in a way is that Sigmund had arranged the plot where he was to be buried, and five days later, he was dead. Lafayette had performed his final trick after his own death, an accidental illusion. Lafayette was cremated, technically for the second time, and placed in the paws of beauty. A quarter of a million people came to watch his funeral. There is no doubt that Lafayette was famous and rich. Some theorise he was rich enough to fake his own death, wanting to escape the fame. Others suggest he escaped things in a darker way. Devastated by the loss of beauty, he killed himself and went out with style in the literal finale of his show. Or perhaps a rival magician taking revenge. But these are just conspiracy theories. Thank you for watching this video. This is a bit of a different format, but if you enjoyed it, make sure to click the thumbs up button down below. I'll really appreciate that. You can subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you very soon.